2008 Nissan Versa. So this one's another collision damage. And way over there in the corner where it folded down the bumper, it just collided a little bit with the condenser. So it didn't puncture it, but it needs to be drained out. Which for this customer, it's kind of a good thing because his bottom of this condenser is pretty well stone beat with little stones that popped up. And the aluminum is actually oxidized and it's turning into a dust. And oxidized aluminum is not a good conductor of heat. So he will actually have better air conditioning after he has his uh, body work done than he had before. And so here, um, fittings are really dry. They're real little dusty. So you, when you take off your um, caps, clean the dust off because the dust will damage your O-rings over time. And they're dry and every couple applications to re-lubricate your O-rings. Here's some Nylog. You usually use something like Nylog or uh, silicone grease. And you don't need much, just need a dab will do ya. And I always put too much on there. And I'm trying to hold the camera and do this. Now this is way more than you need. That's an over application. And so that's a, a little wasteful. And that will help protect your O-rings that are up inside here and give you a better seal under vacuum. Let's grab my stuff out of the way. And it helps when you have dry fittings, dry metal, that helps scrape your O-rings. So by putting a little lubricant on there and something that doesn't leak them. So if you did have a little bitty imperfection in your O-ring surfaces, while you're doing a recovery, uh, that little nick out of an O-ring could let vacuum in. So when you're recovering under a vacuum to get refrigerant out, you can draw in excess of air in with your refrigerant that you need to recycle and that would waste a lot of refrigerant in the purging method and it would waste a lot of uh you know time in the per in the cleaning of the refrigerant method so you just do that every couple times every five or six applications and it'll help lubricate your o-rings getting back to uh let's talk about this compressor on this vehicle so we have a clutchless compressor let's get over here so this one does Oh, well, is this clutched or clutchless? Oh, sorry. This one is clutched. Uh, clutched compressor. I'm trying to get in there. It's really hard. I have a vehicle right behind me, and I have like 12 inches of clearance between me and the vehicle right behind me. But there's the label. So do yourself a favor for those who want to learn. Every vehicle you have that comes into your shop, you usually are too busy in the shop, and you don't have time. You go home at night, and you do stuff like,